Have you heard about what's happening in the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Well, millions of people are in serious crisis, and according to advocacy groups and refugee agencies, the world isn't paying attention. Here's a quick recap of what's going down in the DRC. According to Human Rights Watch, rebels in Eastern DRC have been committing mass killings, sexual assaults, and other war crimes. According to the advocacy group, rebels in Eastern DRC have rained down on populated areas, damaging infrastructure, and killing and injuring civilians. In fact, fighting between the DRC's National Army and the rebel group has displaced too many people to count. The UN Refugee Agency says the DRC is the most complex and long-standing humanitarian crisis in Africa and is home to the fourth largest group of internationally displaced people in the world. Over 5 million people are displaced today, and more than 1 million Congolese have sought asylum mostly within Africa. Innocent civilians have been forced to flee their homes with little hope of ever returning. And keep in mind, the DRC isn't just home to its born citizens. In fact, half a million refugees from neighboring countries call the nation home, three quarters of whom live outside refugee camps and settlements today. And to make things worse, while all of this is happening, disease outbreaks and natural disasters are wreaking havoc on the people. Oh, and we can't forget that buried beneath the surface of African nations is wealth beyond comparison, making its mining industry one of the most important in the world. Africa is a major producer of gold, diamond, cobalt, coal, copper, and so much more. And Congo has never been the exception, as it is one of the major mining countries on the continent. Earlier this year, Pope Francis visited the country and said the world should stop choking Africa and get their hands off the DRC. Advocates have long said that while others get rich off these nations, they are literally left to starve. According to Save the Children, malnutrition levels in the country were already high even before the war, and now families have have no idea where their next meal will come from. Additionally, over 26 million people, including 4.5 million children, are in urgent need of food aid. Have you been keeping up with the crisis in the DRC? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs>